Hello everybody. Finally, Arena Valor is released in North America and Canada and Latin America yesterday. All of us were so hyped for it. They released it before their aerial announcement, which said AOE will release sometime next year. But maybe Vainglory just speeded up the things. I was ranking yesterday with a new account, obviously, and felt that a lot of people play like robots. So I wanted to make a video on the basics of Arena of Valor and give some ideas about how to have a much better AOE MOBA experience. This holds true all the way to master rank. When I was thinking if I should make a video at all, I remembered books such as Trigonometry for Dummies, etc. So I was like, why not make AOE for Dummies? Just kidding. Although I'm from NA, I did play the European version of Arena of Valor and reached master with about 70% win rate. Then I messed up some things, trying out new things, so lost binding to the account. And I was being a crazy monkey, torturing the customer service to give me back my account, which they could not. I should not know why they couldn't. So let's begin with tip 1. Don't screw your binding. I then made another account and didn't really play a lot on it because you know I'll have to start from the beginning. So the whole idea about mobile games is how effectively we are using the resources and rotating, helping the team. Like any 5v5 MOBA, we have 3 lanes here, top, mid and bottom. A team should have a jungler who is primarily focused on getting buffs, killing neutral keeps to level up faster and help ganks. We will look more of jungler later on. Instead of top and bottom lanes, we call as abyssal lane and dark slayer ray. On the side of abyssal lane, there should be an ADC such as violet or yawn with a support like Alice, Pura or tanks such as Crest, Thane, so on. They have to be on Abyssal lane primarily because once your jungler finishes one sweep of jungle, he reaches level 4, can help gank the Abyssal lane and if the enemies are pushed back, the tree can kill the Abyssal dragon. Note, Abyssal dragon is a crucial step for your team to have an advantage over the enemies. It gives you a lot of team experience and gold. Usually, in high ranked games, a team fight breaks out very early at the Abyssal Dragon. Then, the mid lane, we usually have a mage. They need to play safe and keep farming. Do not overextend, because you will be the target for ganks by enemy jungler. On top lane, there should be preferably be a bruiser like say Lubu, Astrid, Arduin, Gilder, etc. who can farm faster and wait for ganks. Now going back to jungling, jungling is very crucial in a AOE. Jungle heroes such as Wukong, Jeffes, Zil have high mobilities and jungling with a jungle item along with the punish talent will ensure that they reach level 4 with their ultimate ready for ganks after they've finished one sweep of the jungle. Punish talent can also be used on enemy heroes to damage a little bit and also slow down. And also uh, you could try stealing the enemy jungle buffs by using the punish talent. Now looking at the jungle items, these have to be the first item that the jungler should build. Now there's three different types of jungle items. Loki's curse is for mage junglers like say Jill. Leviathan if you want some tanky status like for Zephyrus or Butterfly. And Soul Reaver for full damage build heroes like say Wukong. Violet. Although Violet is an ADC, the jungle item when stacked is very good on her. By the way, from tier 2 onwards of the jungle item, it stacks. That is, you get one stack of some perk after you kill every jungle monster to a max X of 15. Keep that in mind. Do not always engage in team fights. Give your jungler some time to build the stacks without which he won't be effectively using the very first item he he finishes. Now, also, there are several buffs on the map. The blue golem or the sage buff gives cooldown, and the red golem or the might buff gives you damage and movement slow perks. There are some dragons which spawn opposite to the abyssal and the dragon slayer, they give HP regeneration. Alright, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. 
leave a comment and let me know if you think I missed out something or what you want in the future videos. I plan on making funny gameplay videos with memes which are also professional and give you an idea of the type of build which will be ideally suited for each hero just like I did for my earlier videos in a different MOBA called Heroes Evolved. Till then, take care and have a happy holiday!